Hey guys, so recently I uh, decided to pick up a smartwatch to add to my collection. So um, I ended up going for the Galaxy Watch 4, which is the uh, 40 millimeter. Um, basically, this was just to make sure um, I had a watch in my collection that I could use to uh, track my steps. Um, as a sedentary uh, reminder and also to uh, track my workouts whenever I chose to work out. Now uh, as you can see in my collection of watches here I uh, do um, go for the more chunky watches so the thicker watches um, which uh, when looking at these watches over here is slightly bigger size than the, the watch 4 um, so like yeah, just look taking on going over my collection right now I'm um, a fan of the G-Shock watches uh, for example this is the uh, G-Shock the 3230 uh, which is is about a uh, 46 millimeter watch um, the GA700 which one which kind of ranges in the 50 millimeter um, lug to lug size uh, the eco drive this is the citizen eco drive which is approximately 44 millimeters and um, one of my favorites my first automatic watch which is the seiko uh, 5 sport um, formerly known as the skx now the 5kx uh, is 43 millimeters so um, a fairly thick set of watches there um, in comparison to uh, my Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. Um, however, so I decided to go for the smaller version, even though um, not really my size range. When, on the watches that I like, I have a 7.7 yes. 7.4 inch wrist um, so I decided to go and pick up something to go with this watch that would protect it and uh, I decided to pick up the um, the Rugged Armor Pro by Spigen um, now what uh, actually drew me towards getting this was that if uh, I got the the 40 millimeter watch um, and then I went for the Spigen the Spigen would increase the size of this watch from a 40 to a 46 millimeter which kind of falls in my range of watches that are the size lug to lug that I like so we'll just quickly go ahead and uh, do an unboxing see how this looks like and um, we'll go from there So according to the instructions, you need to align the buttons on this side. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, so align the buttons, the buttons on the case. push down on the, the lugs and then clip the other set of lugs. Okay, should be easy enough.
right here we go looks like it's all snug in there Right, and uh, now to see how it looks on wrist. Okay. All right, there we go. So that's the Spigen Armor Pro. Um, and I think it looks really good. It's uh, really stealthy. Goes with the look I'm, I'm going for usually. So, super rugged. So, I think it now now it's at uh, 46 millimeter lug to lug I think this would go right with the way my uh, my 3230 G-Shock looks like on wrist so pretty much uh, a similar look uh, in terms of size lug to lug can I like it very much um, nice stealthy looking smartwatch on wrist so whenever I'm going to the gym I can always rock this on my wrist and not worry about my precious watch smartwatch expensive smartwatch getting hit uh, whenever I go mountain biking or whenever I go uh, to the gym I'm not worried about bashing it or, or hitting it against anything and uh, getting it cracked. Alright, thanks for watching and have a good day.